Hello, I'm Victor. Today I'm going to talk about Yahoo Messenger. We all know Yahoo Messenger is used to chat with our friends. But is that all? Let's explore a little more to find out what it is all about. To begin with, let's see how to download a Yahoo Messenger onto your personal computer. For that, let's get onto Google page. Once you are there on the Google page, type in Yahoo Messenger and I'll pick from one of the options and then choose one of the versions that you would like to have it on your system on your computer system I'm choosing 11.5 which I think is the updated version you can click on download now once you click on it you can click on run which will only download and install it without saving it onto your computer system but if you would like to save the software onto your system you can click on save uh, when you click on run, it is faster and you can also save some time. But now I'm clicking on neither of them because I already have the uh, Yahoo Messenger installed on my computer. If you already have the username and password, you can log in using the username and password. In case if you do not have it, you can click on get a new Yahoo ID which is there on the bottom of the Yahoo Messenger login page which is the first option. Once you click on it, it will take you to Yahoo registration page. All you need to do on the page is to provide a little of your personal information. And you can also click the user, I'm sorry, you can also create the username and password. And remember, I would suggest the um, password should be alphanumeric, which can actually ensure a little of your security. And after everything is done, you have to click on create my account, which will provide you the username and password. Now that you have created the username and password, just in case if you forget any of those, you can click on forget your password. Uh, that will take you to another page where it can help you to retrieve your password or even your user ID. Now that you already have the username and password and you still remember that, you can enter them. So now that I'm entering them, and now once you enter them, click on sign in or you can also hit on enter once you hit enter it will take you to the page where you see the contacts already added if you're using it for the first time you will not see any of the contacts because you have not added any of those so to add a friend to your list all you need to do is to click on here once you click on there you have to give the user name provide your model number which is optional you can click on next you can also give a little of your introduction which is optional as well you can click on next and before that if you would like to change the display name to your friend you can do that as well and then you have to click on OK but for now I'm not doing anything but if you click on next here it will take you to the page where you have to click on finish once you click on finish on the next page, uh, the request will be sent to your friend. And once your friend accepts that request, you will see your friend's name in the list. In case if the friend is also online, this is how you can see. This is how it is highlighted. To chat with a friend who is online, you can double I'm sorry, you can click on it and then you can start using it. In case if you would like to change the style of the message, you can select it all by doing a control A or you can also click on edit and select all and then you can bold it, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can of course change the color, you can change the script, the style of the script. Um, you can also increase the uh, font size and if you want a different color other than that is displayed here you can click on other colors you can pick more color from here if you're still not satisfied if you want more colors or if you would like to have a multicolored one you can pick from you can do it from here in case if you do not want the yellow um, from the message that you're sending it you can uh, select it and click on remove it and you can add if you want you can also add a different color 
All you need to do is to click on the color and click on add. And then click on OK. And this is how your message is. Click on send or you can also hit enter. And in case if your friend is still not responding, uh, you can use this one to buzz. You can also send emotions, which is commonly called smileys. You can also use a smile, uh, an, an audible to grab the attention, like this. Dude. Or you can also use it to this. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I thought you were someone else, but I guess I can talk to you. All right. And if you want, you can also get more audibles. You can go to see all audibles and you can choose one of those. And you can also send some files by clicking on here. You can share pictures or photos. You can play games with your friend. You can also change the environment, which is nothing but the background of the conversation window. If you would like to change it, you can go to, you just have to click on it go to see all environments and I'm going to this falling hearts one I'll show you the best part of it once you are there on the environment if you would like to grab the attention if you just click on this buzz this is what it happens and now you can also do a video call and voice call uh, clicking on here uh, when you go to the conversation you will see a new if you click on that it's nothing but if you would like to talk to someone else other than the one that you're chatting with, you can do that. All you just all you need to do is to click on Control N and select the uh, the name of the person you would like to chat with, and then click on OK, and that's it. The person is added here, and you can also send the and of course you can choose a different environment because you cannot be in love with two people, at least me. Okay, this is what you can get a different environment. That is what this is what it will buy. So now uh, you can also save uh, the conversation. You can print it, and the preference and privacy options is nothing but the settings. And edit as usual. You can undo it, cut, copy, paste, and delete. And you can also select it. And if you go to the previous message uh, and next message options, I'll show it to you here. Uh, and instead of you clicking on there you can also use the up and down arrows uh, if you click on up arrow that is the last message that you have sent if you click on uh, the up arrow again it will the um, the message that was sent before the previous message so if you click on down arrow that goes back so that's, that is what is all about and if you go to the view view is nothing but uh, the um, options that you would like to see on that and actions nothing much that you can actually use here and all this or we already have seen them in the shortcuts and help is there to help you always and the same thing goes even here with this messenger contacts and all that but if you go to messenger this was the previous um, place where you could see yahoo chat rooms which are not available anymore I think uh, they have been disabled since December 14th of 2012. So contacts and actions, there's nothing much that we can actually talk about. Or and if you would like to change the skin of that, you can also change it here. Uh, this is how it is, and that's it. That's. Okay. Hope you enjoyed my video. In case if you find it amazing, do you comment it saying it amazing. If you find it devastating, do not miss to say it's devastating. If you feel it, and thank you so much for watching it. So long.